What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in this video, I wanted to talk about another massive change that's been made to Blender 4.0. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I absolutely love working in Blender, but sometimes there were some kind of baffling choices when it comes to the way that you work with objects in the program. Probably the biggest one for me and for a lot of people that have come in from other programs is you currently don't have the ability in any of the released versions to orbit around in your 3D space when you're making changes, right? So if I move this object and then I click and hold my middle mouse button, for some reason you get this like weird locking along inferences or along directions like this rather than being able to orbit. This can actually be really limiting because every time you wanna change your view, you have to stop using the tool that you have active um, in order to change your view. Now, a lot of other programs like SketchUp, for example, have the ability when a tool is active, you can click and hold the middle mouse button to orbit around while that tool remains active. So Rhino is the same way. So say I wanted to extrude a curve, you can click and hold the right mouse button and you can orbit around while this tool is active. And it's a really valuable thing to be able to do. Well, luckily in the Blender 4.0 beta version, they've added the ability to orbit around while keeping tools active. This is a massive change for a lot of us that are used to being able to do this because being able to zoom in and out and orbit around um, while moving an object or having other tools active, like the scale tool, for example, is a huge deal. Okay, and so how do you get this? First off, you need to go to blender.org, and this is currently in an experimental version of Blender. So it's in the 4.0 beta version that you can download from Blender's website. Note that this is obviously not something that's supposed to be used for production um, until they get it out there as a stable release, but you can download Blender 4.0 and check it out. And so what you need to do is you need to go into your Blender preferences, and I don't know why this is in here this way, but you need to go to to the key map section under 3D view, and there's now a box for transform navigation with alt. And so what that means is that means that once you've enabled this right here, now if I tap the G key to move this object around, if you hold alt on your keyboard, that's going to put you into this navigation mode. Note that you can't just click and hold your middle mouse button like this in order to orbit. That would be nice. I don't know why this isn't default behavior in Blender. I feel like it should be, but notice how um, you can now hold the Alt key and orbit in order to move around. And I think this is gonna work for most of your tools, right? So if I activate the rotate tool, for example, and then I hold the alt key, this is still working. If I activate the scale tool and hold the alt key, whoops, that's not the alt key. Um, if I activate the scale tool and hold the alt key, this is working as well. And so in this new version, you can now orbit around by holding the alt key and clicking and holding your middle mouse button in order to orbit while your tools remain active. So if you come from another program, this is one of those kind of can't live without features that um, really make working in Blender a lot better. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this new function? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.